smoking with the Migos. It's just me and me and Migos. Uh. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's gonna be an exciting, exciting video. I had a company reach out to me and send me out their new product. It's right over here. So there's a new product that they recently launched. It's called the Ro Viva. Um, so looks really dope. It looks like a normal charger, but this one apparently is just 10 times better than a normal one. So we're gonna check this out in a little bit. But we're also doing today, we're gonna be um, doing some body work to my brother's car and wrapping um, my cousin's car. We're gonna finish it up hopefully, do as much as we can, we'll see what we can do, but today is gonna be a good time. All right guys, so this is the new packaging of the, the Ro Viva. It plugs into your outlet, you know, your car charger, but it does multiple things a normal car charger doesn't do. First off, this one has two charging ports and it's very, very, very fast charging. It's not normal charging. Um, as you guys can see right here as well, it has voice activated navigation, hands-free calling and music, and uh, of course, the Amazon Alexa is built into this. It's basically like the Amazon Dot, but uh, in your car, which is amazing. And uh, it's got over 15,000 different skills you can tell it to do, uh, different, you know, commands. This thing is specially designed for Apple products. Um, as you guys can see, you can also play music, call your friends, tell them to text your friends certain things. This is really, really, really cool. If you guys see the one I currently have, I have like all these wires connected to this really, really cheap Bluetooth uh, device. And this is what I use to play music. Um, I don't really like the sound quality because it buzzes all the time, but this is what I got. This is what I'm working with. This is around like $15. Um, we're gonna see the quality difference between something that's actually good and uh, something you get from China. I love opening up new things, Habibi. Huh, All right guys, if you look at the packaging, it's very, very, very nicely packaged. I, I just opened up the seal. You're gonna be taking it out of the packaging. See how we do this real quick? Just like that, wow. Oh my goodness, it feels like unboxing an iPhone. I have to give him props for the packaging. It's very, very, very nice. I'm gonna go ahead and open this guy. And we're greeted with the product right there and a few cards. Let's see what it comes with. So it looks like some music service support. Alexa, um, routes the best. Okay, so these are just a few cards you can tell Alexa to do certain things. So it just teaches you how to do the basics and how to use this product, you know, right out of the box. Um, just a couple, you know, random things that we're never ever gonna read because this is a 21st century and we don't do that stuff. So grabbing the product right out of the uh, box right here. Look at that. All right, let's see what all the hype is about. Tap to awake, press and hold to mute. All right, so you guys see that. It says tap to wake and press and hold to mute. Um, sounds like pretty, pretty self-explanatory. As I said, there's two ports right there. It looks like it has a finishing touch of carbon fiber, which is really, really, really clean. Uh, so we're just going to go ahead and install this in the car and see what all this stuff is about. As I said guys, this recently got released this month, so uh, the link will be down in the description if you guys are interested. Alright guys, I'm in the beast. I got my beautiful light right there. This thing is worth a million bucks in my mind. So I'm going to put ahead, go ahead and put the uh, key in the ignition if I can see through my camera. Start up the car. Alright, car is started. So now we're going to get rid of this old janky thing right here. A normal charging uh, thing I got for seven bucks. As you guys can see, it's lit up blue when it's plugged in. Looks really, really, really nice. Now I'm gonna see um, what these cards. What, what can we do with this little device? You know what I mean? What I like about this is that as if you're unboxing a Nintendo product. It says right here, uh, Ro Viva Skills Cards. It looks pretty dope. As if you're like trying to pick out, pull out a Pokemon deck. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and just take this off of it. All right, now that we got the cards, let's go ahead and see what these are all about. So this one is just saying thank you. If you switch it to the back right here, it says making calls, Alexa call Aaron, Alexa call 911. So you can basically call the police in case of emergency and uh, go ahead and call your friend, whatever you wanna do. And this doesn't use your data, this uses your phone call. So that's a good thing to know. Again, another greeting card right here. Flip it to the back. You, there's a few commands you can ask it to do. It's like, Alexa, take me to the nearest gas station. Alexa, navigate me to 123 Main Street. Alexa, route me to the best steakhouse in town. Alexa, get directions to home. And I think this is the most important one is this last one because, I mean, who doesn't want to go home? And like it says on the bottom right there, you it's important to set your home address so Alexa knows where your home is at all times. You guys, as I was reading the cards, I see the Alexa changing colors. It's not white, it's actually yellow right now. It was blue. I don't know if it's asleep. Let me click this button real quick. Hello, Alexa. All right, before we get to all that stuff, which is read the last greeting card, which is basically just telling them all their supporters, which is Spotify, uh, iHeartRadio, Music, Amazon Music, Pandora, 
and uh, TuneIn. And they also got Sirius XM. So uh, Spotify will be saying Spotify will be available soon. That's all good stuff. As I said, this product was just released, so it's already promising that they have Amazon and things like that on their side, and especially like Pandora and Spotify. Pandora is already out. Spotify coming soon. All right. They're saying, so they're saying it looks like it slept. So they're saying just to tap it to wake it up. As you can see, it's woken up. So I'm going to go ahead and ask Alexa to uh, take me to the nearest gas station. All right, so once you guys download the app and uh, set it all up, you're just going to be, you're just going to load it up. You're going to click the accept on the bottom there. I'm going to connect it to my uh, my Facebook. Why not? You see, that's convenient. You don't actually have to make a whole separate account. I got to use my face recognition over here. You got, you know, that new Apple stuff. Face recognition. Bam, look how convenient that was. All right, we're gonna log in there. It says you wanna use all, you know, your profile. I don't really care, that's fine. I trust them. All right, it says plug in your Rover device into a charging port, start the engine, and wait for the device LEDs rings to turn on. So as you guys can see, the LED rings are turned on. Now find your Rove device on the app and choose connect. So we're gonna go ahead and click connect, find that device, and it's saying, would you like to pair this? Yes, I would like to pair. Just click the pair button right there. Look how fancy this stuff is. So we're gonna go ahead and connect this via Bluetooth because it'd be a whole lot more convenient. And uh, every time you start up your car, it's gonna be very, very easy. So through all my things, I'm gonna find the Viva. As you guys can see, it's already connected. That's great. So I'm gonna go back to the Viva app, load that back up. Play test sounds. And yes, I hear it. It's coming from the actual device, not my car. Great, you've done. So I'm already here now. Dude, look at her. Alexa sounds pretty good. I'm not going to lie. All right, so we're going to authorize Amazon. Uh, so basically, I'm going to connect my Amazon account real quick. I think this also is face recognition. I agree to the terms of condition. Welcome to Rove Viva. You can ask many things while driving. Try now. Oh, that sounds good to me. Okay. Alexa, where is the nearest gas station? Here are a few popular ones. Chevron, Psy Petroleum, Electric Charging Station, and Shell. Wow, look at that. Okay, well, it already uh, answered my question. So, if you guys type on uh, things to try, it actually tells you a few commands you can tell it to do. It has over 15,000 commands you can tell it to do, but these are just some simple ones that it feels that you're probably going to use on your daily to day basis. I mean, not 911, but you know, like the radio, the navigation, all this type of stuff, music calling. All right, what I really, really like about this device is that, you know, it, mm -hmm. it's, it's intended to make sure people are driving safe and, uh, you know, overall having fun with the product and not needing to actually have your phone in your hand while you're driving. Alexa, can you play Spotify? Spotify is currently not supported until this upcoming spring. Stay tuned. As you see, so Spotify isn't set up yet. Um, I'm going to go ahead and tell it to play my music on the phone. I don't really know what kind of music I have, but let's go ahead and give it a shot. All right, guys, so I'm in the car right now. Something I realized when I was driving, when I actually turned this thing off, it turns red and it matches all my buttons, which literally makes it blend in. I mean, I just love the way it looks. Um, we're going to go ahead and see if this thing is functional. So I'm going to pull out my phone again. Um, it'd be better if you actually have a dock for your phone because it doesn't really sit here anymore. When the, I mean, you could put this somewhere else, like in their center armrest, but I like it right there. So I'm probably going to add, put a dock. Actually, you know, for the purpose of this video, I'm going to put a dock here real quick. All right, guys, so Alexa is turned off. The app's right there. So I'm going to go ahead and turn Alexa back on by holding this button. It turns blue. I'm gonna go ahead and go to my phone, click connect. It's trying to find uh, Alexa. When it finds Alexa, I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. See, that's pretty cool. Alexa, where is the nearest Burger King? I found a Burger King. It's 2.9 miles away on Elk Grove Boulevard in Elk Grove. It's open now until 11 p.m. It even tells me what time it's, okay. Alexa, do I look good? Yes, but take it from someone with no physical form. Beauty really does come from within. Oh, I'll take it. I'll take it. Okay, guys. All right, guys. So I'm already set. Apparently, I'm good looking. Alexa is my new wife. Um, I mean, I needed a partner in my car. So this is going to work out. Uh, let's see if she's going to answer a very, very important question. This is for every single Cali person. This question your wife needs to answer or you're, you're, just, you're just the relationship's not going to work out. Alexa, where is the nearest in and out I found a and n out Burger. It's 3.6 miles away on East Stockton Boulevard in Elk Grove. It's open now until 1 a.m. You know what? I think me and her are going to be the best soulmates. I've, I never thought my soulmate was going to come in a box, 
but uh, honestly, this makes my car 10 times better. I love this product. You know, it hasn't been, and it's not with Spotify yet, but it's saying in spring it will be connected to Spotify, which is the only other thing I really use on my phone when I'm driving. So when it connects to Spotify, it's gonna be amazing. For now, I'm gonna use Pandora. It's just so convenient. It'll go between your playlist. It will do whatever you want. Like, watch this. I don't, I can't use Spotify, but I'm, I'm just gonna say it to play any song. Uh, let's see, let's see, um, you know, what kind of songs it plays. Alexa, play a non-copyrighted song. I can't find the song non-copyrighted. Darn, okay, so that's not a thing. <laughs> it, was, it was worth a shot. Okay, let's try this one. Alexa, play any song. Here's a station you might like. Jack might Johnson like. from Amazon Music. Amazon Music, Jack Johnson. Okay, let's hear this. Not bad, not bad. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and download Pandora so I can listen to my own music. Uh, I, d I don't like this music to be honest. I don't, I don't know how she thought that this is my taste. Alexa, play Logic. Shuffling songs by Logic. Let's see what kind of Logic songs she plays. Come on now. This is Logic? Come on, Logic. Let's hear your voice, man. Let's hear your voice. I don't. I don't know if this is legit. I don't want no copyright. I'm gonna. I'm gonna sing over this. All right. All right, boys. All right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I know how to rap. So this is. This is going well. People want to talk about what makes. Them happy. This is Logic. Oh my boy. What really makes you happy? Tell me what makes you happy. What makes you happy, guys? Makes you happy. Makes you sad. Makes I, I don't know what song this is, but it's terrible. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> what is this, guys? I don't even. I've never even heard of this logic. Is that even a song? To call Ibrahim Al Tahi home. <laughs> call button. It's Abraham. I knew it. I knew that was gonna be the problem. Okay. Alexa, call Dia. All right. So we're gonna go ahead and confirm this real quick. Call that call button, and uh, I'm gonna click on speaker real quick. All right. Let's see how this works. Dia. All right. Can you hear yeah. me? Can you hear me good? Yeah, I can hear you. Was it a lot better or not? Nah? Now it's better. Yeah, Alright, cool. Better so they can hear me. That's good. Um, and that, you know, that's just pretty much how Alexa calls. Alright, guys, thanks. I'll talk to you later. So basically, uh, it calls the user. It does want to clarify uh, how many users, because like if I have Dia multiple times on my phone, it's going to go through one more step and tell you it's a Dia Hamadi, Dia whatever, Dia whatever. So um, it just wants to clarify, which is uh, all right with me. All right, guys, this is probably going to be a separate video. I'm going to upload this on Friday, and then I have and have another upload, which is what I'm going to be doing the part two, which is uh you know working on the car, uh, the body work, and the wrap. I'll make that on Monday, so I'm going to have two uploads for you guys this week. Uh, but I'm going to split up to two different videos. I, I doubt you guys want to see a 20, 20 minute long video, and I feel like this video uh, deserves its own little video. This this product is really really cool. Um, I do support 100% hands free calling. Uh, you know, and especially when you're when you're driving, when you're racing, when you're doing whatever like us, you can just ask it to do whatever, play some music, stop playing music, whatever it is, lower down the music, go to navigation, where is the local in and out, um, whatever you must, whatever you need. You can even put in an address. It, you can literally say an address, it'll take you from one place to another. It's really, really dope. I'm gonna go ahead and tell it to play some music. Let's see uh, how fast it quicks and you know how fast it responds. We're gonna go ahead and play a uh, Logic 1800. Alexa, play Logic 1800. 1-800-273-8255 by Logic. I guess that's the Logic name, yeah, the full name. So yeah, let's see if it plays real quick. Look at that, right off the bat. You just name a song, guys, and it plays a song. No matter what song it is, you have on top of your mind. Just ask her to play it, she plays it. You don't even have to type it in when you drive. You just straight up say it, hands-free. Really, really, really dope. I'm gonna load down this song before I get some copyright up in here. Don't want that happening. Um, I'm in on the low, I've been taking my time. My voice sucks, so I'm gonna end this video before all you guys start uh, becoming deaf. But yeah, guys, so this product really makes your car uh, more modern because a lot of the newer cars does have this built into their cars. Uh, it's not Alexa, it's not Siri, it's got their own little BMW system. But um, it's really, it works really, really well. And uh, you know, the newer cars have that. But you know, with our older cars, this simple. Let me let me take this out real quick. This simple little thing can be plugged into any car and turn your car into you know. Any car, it can, it can be a 2001, and you, you could have features that a 2017, 18 car has. So I really, really, really like this product. It basically makes my car feel a lot newer, and that's you guys know my channel. Always trying to make my car newer, LCI conversion, all that good stuff. So making the interior more live-like, making it more, uh, you know fun to use because this product is not hard to use at all you just hook up your phone go to the app let your app open do whatever you want after that you literally do whatever you want so it's really really dope 
So yeah, guys, if you did enjoy the video, smash that like button. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. She got me saying, yalla, huh, baby. I need you to see me. Quit with the front and then put your guard down, girl. We know you ain't easy. She got me saying, yalla, huh, baby. I need you to see me. Quit with the front and then put your guard down, girl. We know you ain't easy. You know, you're all.